Resolution 1373, adopted in the wake of the 9-11 terror attacks, reminds us that terrorism continues to be the gravest threat to mankind. It not only grievously impacts human life, but attacks the very foundation of humanity. For the UN system to credibly address the menace of terrorism and ensure effective action, I would like to propose eight points that could, in a way, be an action plan. One, we must all summon the political will to unhesitatingly combat terrorism. There must be no ifs and buts in this fight, nor should we allow terrorism to be justified or terrorists glorified. All member states must fulfill their obligations enshrined in international counterterrorism instruments and conventions. Two, we must not countenance double standards in this battle. Terrorists are terrorists. There is no good or bad distinction. Those who propagate this only have an agenda, and those who cover up for them are just as culpable. Three, accordingly, we must reform the working methods of the committees dealing with sanctions and counterterrorism. Transparency, accountability, and effectiveness are the need of the day. The practice of placing blocks and holds on listing requests without any rhyme or reason must end. This only erodes our collective credibility. Four, we must firmly discourage exclusivist thinking that divides the world and harms our social fabric. Such approaches facilitate radicalization and recruitment by breeding fear, mistrust, and hatred among different communities. The council should be on guard against new terminologies and false priorities that can dilute our focus. Five, enlisting and delisting individuals and entities under the UN sanctions regime must be done objectively, not for political or religious considerations. Proposals in this regard merit due examination before circulation. Six, linkages between terrorism and transnational organized crime must be fully recognized and addressed vigorously. We, in India, have seen the crime syndicate responsible for the 1993 Mumbai bomb blast not just given state protection, but actually enjoying five-star hospitality. Seven, combating terrorist financing will only be as effective as the weakest jurisdiction. The Financial Action Task Force, FATF, should continue to identify and remedy weaknesses in anti-money laundering and counter-terror can make a big difference. And eight, Adequate funding to UN counterterrorism bodies from UN regular budget requires immediate attention. The forthcoming seventh review of the UN's global counterterrorism strategy offers an important occasion to strengthen measures to prevent and combat terrorism and build capacities of member states. 